My name is Sasson Remigio, and this is the 3 to 1 Z Pulley Haul System. Understand that there are many ways to tie the haul system, but here at the Jungle Operations Training Course, this is how we're going to tie it. The equipment needed one 150 foot 9 millimeter commandant rope, four locking carabiners, two 15 feet 7 millimeter accessory cord, your near side anchor point, and your far side load. Starting off with setting up my haul system, I'm gonna go ahead and identify my near side anchor point. I'm gonna grab one end of my split backstack rope and I'm gonna conduct an end of the line round turn bowline. Start right here. I'm gonna go ahead from right to left, do my round turn. And then tie in my bowline. making sure that my bowline is set and dressed. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and secure it with the overhand safety. After I've secured my round turn bowline to my near side anchor, I'm gonna go ahead and tie in a double figure eight. With my double figure eight, I want to ensure that it's set and dressed, that there are no twists or crosses. And from my double figure eight to my bowline, it's no less than a fist. After I've tied in my double figure eight, I'm gonna go ahead and secure one lock and carabiner and the other end of my split back stack rope. Once I've identified my load, I'm gonna go ahead, take my end of the rope and tie in a double figure eight. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and take my lock and carabiner, feed my loop through, ensuring that my gates are facing up, I'm gonna go ahead and secure it to my load. At this point, I'm just gonna secure it by locking it. At this point, I have now created a load line. From here, I'm gonna go ahead and secure two lock and carabiners. I'm just gonna feed both of my lock and carabiners through the loop of my double figure eight, ensuring that my gates are facing up towards the sky. The carabiner closest to the stack, I'm gonna go ahead and secure that load line to that carabiner. And I'm just gonna lock it in place. At this point, once I've secured my load line to my carabiner, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my accessory cord and I'm just gonna tie in a middle of the line Prusik. I wanna make sure that my Prusik is on the actual load line itself. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and just dress my Prusik. Once I have tied in my Prusik, I'm gonna go ahead, take the ends of my rope and tie in a double-double figure eight. I want to ensure that I pull on every single leg, making sure that the knot is set. At this point, I have two loops. I'm gonna go ahead and secure these two loops to my remaining carabiner. And I'm just gonna secure it and lock it. After I've locked in my double figure eight to my carabiner, I'm gonna go ahead, secure one locking carabiner, one accessory cord, I'm just gonna create my haul line. 
I'm gonna go ahead and grab the rest of my rope and move over halfway down my load line. Once I've reached the middle of my load line, I'm gonna go ahead and secure my accessory rope and tie in a middle of the line crucic. After I've tied in my Prusik to my load line, I'm gonna go ahead, take the ends of my rope and do a double-double figure eight. Again, ensuring that it is set by pulling every single leg. At this point, I have two loops. I'm gonna take my lock and carabiner through the loops, and I'm gonna take my haul line through my carabiner, ensuring that my gate is facing up and I secure it by locking my carabiner. After I've completed my Z pulley, I'm gonna go ahead and double check my work. Starting off, at the near side anchor, I want to make sure that there's no misrouting of the rope, that I have a round turn around my near side anchor. My bowline is tied correctly, ensuring that it's not touching my near side anchor, and it is secured with the overhand safety with a pigtail minimum of four inches. Moving on, checking my double figure eight, making sure that it is set and dressed, that there are no crosses, and from the double figure eight to the bowline, it's no less than a fist. Going on to my lock and carabiners, I'm gonna go ahead, double check that it's secured, locked, and that the gates are facing up. While I'm still here, I'm gonna go ahead, double check my double figure eight, ensuring that it is set. secured to the outside carabiner. My Prusik is on the load line and it is set and dressed. And that the load line is secured to the inside carabiner. Moving down halfway to my load line, I'm gonna go ahead, double check that my Prusik is on my load line, that it is set and dressed. My double figure eight is set Secured with lock and carabiner with the gates facing up and locked. And that my haul line is secured to my carabiner and is not crossing. Moving down to my load, double checking that my gate is facing up. My double figure eight is set and dressed with no crosses and is secured to my carabiner and it is locked. My last checks coming back to my near side anchor. I'm just gonna double check that my rope is routed correctly, that there are no twists or crosses within my system. In tactical situations, you will conduct this system with a minimum of six man team, but for testing purposes, this is an individual event and you must complete it within seven minutes. This is the three to one Z pulley haul system.